Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 40 One Liners that every developer must know and start using it in your projects. In the first episode, I covered the conditional statement. Very, very useful. Make sure that you go through that as well. Today, I'm going to show you about arrow functions. Right? Arrow functions are extremely helpful, extremely useful, especially they help you write smaller code. You don't have to really write the entire function definition along with parameters and so on. Arrow functions help us write shorthand annotation for functions. Let's see how that works in hands-on. Alright, I'll open up, I'll fire up one more file for you real quick and I'll call it part2.html. And as always, let's quickly throw in an HTML structure and we will throw in a body and in the head we'll have the script. All right. So now what is an arrow function, right? Without arrow function, how does it look? So you're going to write a function name and then you're going to pass some params, right? And then you're going to define and you're going to say return result right so this is how your function looks without arrow functions right and it's too big right every time you have to write it and all that instead what is a better way instead of writing this we can write a single one-liner for this and the it would look like something like this let's say constant add equal to it will take two parameters in this case and it would just do a plus b that's it so see this entire function can be written like this. You can write function, add, it will take a comma b, then you write it, then you return a plus b. So look at this. Look at this code and look at this code, right? So arrow functions are nothing but a, a shorthand annotation for writing functions where they'll directly accept the params and you're saying what it will return, okay? That's the most simplest way it can be used in most uh, function definitions unless they are really critical or complex. Try to stick to arrow functions and let me show you how that works. <clears throat> now you can pass some values. This is function calling. Now let me show you in the console. And inspect and console log and you are not seeing because we will do a, uh, let's say, console log of this <coughs> all right and refresh and you see 30 right so <coughs> to write a basic function you can always use arrow function to avoid unnecessary keyword definition curly braces all of that instead just use the arrow functions next time i hope you find it extremely helpful useful these are simple things that you can start integrating in your code in your projects right away and i hope you will implement let me know if you have any thoughts we'll continue this mini series of quickly learning and it's so much fun to do this one-liners i'm enjoying it please do show some some love by liking and subscribing to my channel thank you so much in the next episode i'll cover object destructuring thank you see you in the next episode